In this lesson, we're going to show you how to modify the default carousel settings in Visticker Wizard. And the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that we have scanned the scene and set up a carousel in one of the wizards. Now, we have already done that, so we will be able to open up the current carousel. And once we have double-clicked this item, we see some details for this carousel. The carousel caption refers to the carousel tab name in Visticker client. We see the tab name up here. And for each available carousel, one tab will be placed along the main menu. The default template refers to the template that should be used when clicking the new message button in the client. If clicking the new template element button, a window will appear and it will be possible to select any template. Show time to live will enable some settings in the client. The two time to live frames will appear in the elements editor and it will also be possible to enable the time to live column in the carousel list. Enable set as next will make a feature available when right clicking a message in the carousel list and the message that is selected will be the one that will be presented after a break. Text caps only and spell check refers to the checkboxes in the elements editor. If these boxes are selected by default in the wizard, they will also be selected in the client. Resume action refers to what should happen when resuming from a break. And add messages refers to the activation status of the messages when adding them to the carousel list. If selecting user controlled, a panel will appear and it will be possible if you have more than one output channel to set the activation status for each of the output channels. Add new messages to pool or carousel refers to where messages should be placed once they are created. Pool will place the messages here and carousel will place the messages here. Button groups available in carousel refers to the buttons that are available here. All button groups are presented in the main panel, including the buttons in the carousel specific panel. It's possible to limit the access to the carousel. And here we have created one group and we have called it internal. And in order to access this group from Wisticker client, we need to add some properties here in the target text field. And if internal is defined here, you will be able to access the specific carousel once you open up this ticker client. This list shows all the available output channels. And the ones that are selected here will be available for this carousel. The selected output channels will be reflected in the columns here. And this concludes the presentation of how to modify the default carousel settings in Visticker Wizard.